Do you remember the time when everybody was right? In the basement, everybody was right. Everybody Peter gets a said go in the up and Ted said go up. They thought they were disagreeing, but they were saying the same thing. <laughs> what? Is that a is that a made up tune? It is. I hoped so. To a dis <laughs> I sure hoped to God. <laughs> Dear Otherwise, Lord. Otherwise someone was going to have to pay. Welcome back, basement dwellers. It's Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. How you guys doing? Look at what we've got going on here. Just follow your nose! Who remembers Toucan Sam? I do. First person to put what uh, cereal he represents uh, gets, uh, gets, gets accolades. <laughs> it was... <laughs> Aren't those accolades great? Don't it, they just feel great? It was Special K cereal, right? No. Can you dig it? Ooh, I can. Oh, and I you did. thought we were gonna dig below, but really... Really, we just pulled a switch. Pulling the chain. Whoa, that's cool. I love secret areas. Um, my wife and I. That's we sweet. we have a life plan that involves acquiring real estate and rental properties and things like that. Yeah. And eventually, at some point in our future, we want to be able to like uh, work work with architects and stuff to design our own home. Yeah. Probably like starting with like, you know, base designs and stuff because that's usually how they do it these days They don't usually start from zero. They like say hey, we have like these ten different kinds of homes And then you kind of just edit from there, right? Make what you want. Yeah, there's not a lot of building from scratch It's more like but one of the things build your own place with all our interactive one of the things based in dwellers things. and my wife has agreed Like that because she knows that this is actually legitimately like important secret passageway to Yeah a few secret areas. Nice. Yes, and and I want to have cool ways to get them to, to work. Um, there are some com there's a company that you can hire out, and they will install um, really awesome methods of opening up secret passageways. So, like, for example, they will uh, set up a chessboard. Ooh. So if the pieces are in a certain position, it opens your bookshelf into it. Whoa! Yeah. Or they can do the classic, like, book is actually a switch. Yeah. So you pull the book, and it's like, oh, crazy. Also, they can set it up so um, a piano, if you play a certain oh, ditty nice. on the keys, it'll open a passage. Doo, doo. Yeah. Um, so here's, here's my thought, Peter. We'll still be doing the basement, you know? I feel like we'll still be doing the basement. Mm -hmm. I, I want to make a really cool secret passageway to get us into the base. What did that accomplish? Um, over here, you, we got some rupees. We killed a guy. When I, I did, I not push this thing enough. Maybe? It t it teaches you. You can only push it ninety degrees at a time, I think, and it teaches you that you can open new doors by pushing it. And now they want you to push it some more to open another way and like the way through. So that. Oh okay, that's the way I came out. No. Nope. Uh, is it? Yeah. Look at the compass. Oh. Okay, maybe it's just teaching you then. Maybe, yeah, there's another way. Through, well, no. Like, we opened this passage here. What just happened? This passage oh. here. Well, we went down below. Oh, there's a room above, Peter. Oh, yeah. So we're going to go down here. We're going to twist this room, which is probably going to open up something in the room above it. Oh, yeah. See, there's a, there's a hole in the roof of this room. There's also might, a hole wait, in the bottom of the sea. You you might not want to push that. Well, yeah, that's a problem. I can't get back out if I do that. Well, no, yeah, look at the ceiling of this room. I thought that's what you're going for when you said there's a door above. Oh. Uh -huh. There is. Peter was right. Well. Ted was also right. Everybody was right. <laughs> Everybody's special. Do you remember the time when everybody was right? In the basement, everybody was right. Everybody Peter gets a said go in the up and Ted said go up. They thought they were disagreeing, but they were saying the same thing. <laughs> what? Is that a, is that a made up tune? It is. I hoped so. To a dis <laughs> I sure hoped to God. <laughs> Dear Otherwise, Lord. someone was going to have to pay. <laughs> someone will have to pay. All right, looks like we got a Poe Soul hanging out in here, I bet. Oh. So it's time to turn into a doggy. Yeah, this is tricky, I think. Because and... one of them's real. Eh, that's easy. 
You know how you tell in Zelda games? It's the one that spins. Really? I don't know. We'll figure it out. That's kind of genius. One, one, there, one's always giving it away. Like give it away, look, give it away, give it away Like now. this one right here. The one that has a ghost behind it. That's usually, that's one, that's one way to tell. Take that! I'm gonna eat your ghost face! Alright. Take that. And, and I rip out your ghost soul with my beautiful teeth. Oh, it was just one though, wasn't it? Yeah, it was just one. The things on the wall were The things just in the decoys. wall were fake, and but was, all you needed to do was turn on your dog senses and you could see what was going on. You're like, I can see through the madness. Man, so basement dwellers, how are you guys doing today? Like, seriously, give us give us like a one out of ten. How you feeling and why? Yeah, right? where, where ten is like, um, I didn't win the lottery, but I'm almost as happy as though I did. And one is a uh, country song. <laughs> Which country song? <laughs> the one where you flip your truck and lose your girl and your dog dies and just a whole bunch of bad stuff happens go to, to jail. you. Yeah, give us uh, give us how you're feeling. That's all we need to do is just kill that Poe, right? If you flip your what truck. We're trying to do. So, uh, one time I saw, uh, a buddy of mine roll his truck right in front of me. Have I ever told that wow. story? No, you have not. Please enlighten us. Alright, so I was living in Minnesota at the time, as we are now. Whoa! And, uh, okay. Plot twist! <laughs> yeah, rotate that and go back to the main room. And, um, uh, some friends and I drove out to Illinois for a music festival. In fact, I'll bet Hill Dragon knows of it and probably has been there. Cornerstone. Cornerstone, yep. Yeah, that's the one in Illinois. And, uh, so it was... July of 2001. Two. Yes. And, uh, oh, see? See? They're developing yep. a pattern there. Okay, now it's time to go get the third post soul. Uh, did you get a small key? Uh, I do have a small key. I think in my you can possession. Go east. Never eat east. That was the way I was going. <laughs> Never eat east. Um, oh. <laughs> I always have to remember which way is east and west. I don't know why. I should just remember that east is right and west is left. So we we had uh well yeah it spells the word we from left oh. to right. That's how I remember. Uh, um we, so yeah never uh, you. We were driving out to Illinois for Cornerstone. There were originally there were seven of us in the group. I love okay. His little doggy nose when he finds things. And um oh can you push it as the boy? Let's find out. Why couldn't you as? Oh can you put on the iron boots? Uh, yes, I can put on the iron boots. See so if it helps. It was what was it? It was seven of us driving out to Illinois, and we had three drivers. Nope. Boy, that's not it. Oh, I bet you can pull it. Yep, I bet uh, it. It just needs to go a different direction. I think. Well, did Whoa. you try pulling it? No, there's definitely a wall in the way for sure. Oh. I mean, trying to attack me. You tried pushing it; it wouldn't go. But could you pull it? Like grab it and walk backwards? No, you can't pull it. Okay. There's like I could tell there was like uh what's that called? The door jam is in the way. Uh uh okay. Uh oh yeah, 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 yeah! That's the end of you. Stupid. So anyway, seven of it us. It made were me gonna... roll. Wow, I totally pulled a Terminator two. Like I put my thumb up in the air and I was like, I'll be back, Sean Connor. So there were seven of us going to Illinois and three drivers and uh I, like a week before it was time to go, two people out of our seven canceled, and both of them were drivers. So then it was down to five of us and one driver, and uh, that wasn't gonna work. So the only other person that had a car was me. I had a $400 Toyota Tercel that broke down the day before we were supposed to leave. Wow. Yeah. And like I asked my friend who knew more about cars, what should I do? And he said, buy this part and put it in. And he pointed out the old part, and so I just like got out tools and took out the old part and slapped the new part in, and then miraculously it worked. Wow, well, that we, was lucky. So yeah, so we drove all the way to Illinois, and then um, we listened to music for like five days and stayed up really late and went to bed, or barely, and then woke up immediately. Hmm. Mm. Let's see, how do we do this? On the east side of the room, pull the square block until it falls down. What? On the east side of the room. You're on the west side of the room right now. You gotta go. You gotta go that way somehow. Is there anything you can shoot with uh, your? Are you supposed to be upstairs? Maybe. 
Can't seem to get now up. Now you have a small key and you're back in the main room, once again head to the east, this time taking the door on the higher level. Yep. Yeah, you went... You're on the higher level? I think so. Yeah, uh, it would turn into the little targety thing if you could hit it. Yeah. Maybe I'm not quite on the higher level. Uh, can you hit up and... Is it up? And check your bigger map? See what level you're on? Alright, up on the d-pad, I mean. Da, da, da. Oh, you're on the first floor. Yeah, you gotta be able to get up there somehow. Maybe you can do it on the west go up side. here. No, that's, that's the north. final door that I need to go. Oh, that's where I need to be. I need to be up there. Yeah. How do I get up there is the real question. Well, you could already go west. Could you go up from west? Maybe. Oh, you know what? I wonder if I could. <laughs> the rats. When you turn. Aha! There it is. This is what I want. Um, this will take me up. So it was five of us and two drivers, and we, we, here's the thing, we like, got sunburnt every day, and s slept minimally every day, and like, moved to music every day, and just got basically completely worn out. Um, and then tried to drive back home in one shot with no sleep to, uh, oh my. to Minnesota. That and so, sounds like a great plan. Yeah, it was me and one friend in the, in the Tercel. Oh, yeah, it's not that way. It's where the spikes were. You just can't go through the spikes. You gotta go around them. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, l long story slightly less long. Um, my buddy was driving his, uh, Ford Ranger and, uh, fell asleep. <laughs> and <laughs> eventually, like, rolled his truck. It rolled, like, oh my gosh. One and a, like, one and a half times. Like, it rolled. It turned sideways, and then it went side, top, side, and then when it hit the tires, it, like, kind of jumped in the air and kept rotating, and then Whoa. landed, like, on the roof and slid down the highway. Jeez. And I thought everyone was dead, and nobody died, which so is So you great. were in the car behind him, and Yeah, I totally happen. watched it happen, and, I'm, and I don't blame him at all, because I was tired. My eyes were drooping. Okay, you're getting there. Where there's a will, there's a way. That looks like people have died on that. Um, you gotta, you gotta raise that thing. Yep, you gotta raise it. Um, and there's the chain to do it. Yeah, people have definitely died there. So you gotta pull that chain. Pull that chain. Do, 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 do. Oh man, I'm gonna have to make a run for it and not get crushed by this thing. Unless this is showing me that, like, later on, there's going to be one that's working that's going to try to get you. This one's just in disrepair. Oh, no, you got a haul. It will fall. Oh, but later in the dungeon, you're going to want to be, like, you're going to want to let it fall around you. Like, stop in the middle of the chandelier. Okay. And let it fall around you so that you can be on it. And then that opens up a new path. Cool. Yeah, so, anyway, he rolled his truck and totaled his truck, and, um, I think one of them took an ambulance ride, you know, but there was nothing, like, major, major, and no broken bones, I think, but there was broken glass and, you know, glass in people's skin and stuff a little bit. It was not great. Don't, you're, don't waste I'm every... Stop! Stop! Please! <laughs> you're hurting me! <laughs> I was like, I wonder if this is gonna, like, actually disturb him a little it bit. It bothers me so much. <laughs> <laughs> you too! You're a hoarder. I know. I was like, this is bothering me, but I'm gonna see what happens to Peter. <laughs> <laughs> no, you were right. Um... But the one thing that's funny, the one casualty of the uh, truck rolling is so funny. I took my dad's folding chair, or folding table, like a nice yeah. wooden folding table, with real heavy metal legs, like a really firm, nice one. It was probably a couple hundred dollars. And uh, I took it with, and I asked him if I could, and he was like, be careful with it. Don't, you know, don't abuse it, don't neglect it, Ooh. don't whatever. Oh, please, come on, I can't read up on this? And then when the truck rolled, you can rotate uh, it. Oh, oh. Okay. And then when the truck rolled, it just, like, it splintered into a bazillion pieces. Oh, All oh. week long, we were careful. We were like, don't put it in the mud. Don't let it get rained on. Don't let this happen. Don't let that happen. And then just a million pieces. Like, <laughs> it didn't matter that we took such good care of it. Boy, oh, it's creepy. a re-dead. It's a re-dead. 
I'm trying to figure out what game those are creepiest in. I still think Ocarina of Time. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, they're they kind of cartoony in Wind Waker. Like if they, if they uh, punished you as much as they did in Ocarina of Time, they'd be equally as scary. Yeah. Like I was able to break out of it just now. Yeah, that's the thing. Well, Redead, you can you in Ocarina do... of Time too, oh, but you barely. have to be like far away from them when they exactly. First freeze like you. if I was that close, he yeah, would have been no on way. me. He'd been sucking my guts out or whatever they do. Did you get a key? Yep, I did. Sweet. And to move on through this door. Yeah, so the table broke into eight wow. a bazillion pieces. And I told my dad, and he was like, Like, catastrophic <sighs> destruction. It's fine. <laughs> well, at least you I'm dead. just glad you're okay. See, Peter? Look at Full arrows. Well, good for you. I was gonna say, like, Zelda's pretty nice. Even in hero mode, like, they're nice with the stuff. And in fact, probably yeah. more so, because there's never a heart. There's never anything. a heart, so I'm guessing you get the same amount of drops, just different stuff. Yeah. Maybe a little less, but probably still, like, more arrows and rupees than before. Those guys have a lot of little high-def moving pieces. It kind of makes me wonder... Like, remember playing Pikmin on the GameCube when there were, like, a hundred of those little guys? Nope, because I've never played Pikmin. Yeah, I've only watched it played. But That's you right, could Pikmin get a hundred of those little I guys on Pikmin, this. And I would like to at some point, because apparently it's like Lemmings, kind of, which I really enjoyed Lemmings. Yeah, it was meant to sort of show like the power of the hardware, because you could get a, a hundred of them on screen at once. Wait, ZL. You gotta drag it up to the ZL thing. I mean, you have to have the arrows activated on a button. Oh, really? Okay, this is dumb. Okay, so arrows have to be activated, then you pull the bombs. Yep. Okay, there we go. I just want to shoot this guy with the bomb. Yeah, arrow. it's a little goofy. That's right. That's right. I got bomb arrows. Yeah, Whoop. you don't want to get frozen by those guys and then have a bunch of those little guys. Man, it's kind of impressive. It takes two. I know, they're stealthos. <laughs> They're a uh, robust stealth. Ooh, you know what that is? Yeah, you could totally dig spot. or push or something. Maybe. Yep. Oh, that's where he went, or that's where he came out. Oh, it's a little chainy pulley. What did I just do? You just open up that thing right there. Whoa! Oh, there he is. Spooky. 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 Skeleton. Nom 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 nom. Man, nothing tastes better than a po' face. Mmm, po' pie. Po' cake. Potato? Uh, Neapolitan ice cream? <laughs> Ooh. Hey, speaking of dumb jokes. Polish sausage. I'm sure I got another one in here somewhere. Mmm, Somewhere here in my memory. Okay, you got three now, it's time for the fourth one. Yes. You gotta go back to the it main chamber and jump over the chandelier in the middle of the room. Cool, I can do that. I could jump over the chandelier. And I could do that all day long. And then go west. I was made to jump over chandeliers. My grand Chandelier! <laughs> Have you heard that song yet? I've sang it about 15 times now to you. I've heard it from you. My <laughs> grandfather had the heart of a lion and a lifetime ban from the New York City Zoo. <laughs> <laughs> and... <laughs> There's two things he had. Say what you will about my grandpa, but you can't deny these two things. Hey, uh... What's clear and smells like red paint? I don't know what. Chloroform. <laughs> Wait, are these invisible bugs that I can't see? Oh, they're invisible rats. You gotta sense them. Ew! Yeah, do your spin attack. Spin attack. Spin attack. I'm trying, I'm trying. I don't know how you do that. What do you do? Hold down. There you go. Hold down A. Eh? That's the easiest way. It's just to let them oh, get see. to you. They're they're teaching you about this in a safe place now, but uh, they'll uh, later those will become real problematic. Like there will be other enemies chasing yeah, like you down. Yeah, like a Poe probably. Yeah, and you. Well, I don't know if it's a Poe, but you won't be able to like do what you need, or you're in some sort of hurry. Like there's rising sand in some board or something. Yes. Hey, Ted. What's up? Where did Mary go after the explosion? Um... Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so terrible. Yeah. Oh. Like Some of these are kind of like unjokes a little bit. 
but it's not like, quite. It's like the kid with no, with an eye patch. Yeah. <laughs> Just making you feel bad about the fact that. All right, don't fall. You laughed. Jump to the shand. Stay Just on the walk shand. Carefully. Walk carefully. Just Jump off the shand. Don't fail now. All right. We're making our way across. Next time in the basement, we're going to see what's happening in this room right here. Actually, tomorrow we're going to be playing a different game. Probably Mario Maker is, uh, I think, my guess here at this point. Oh, yeah. We've been playing a lot of that lately. Yes. And so, um, yeah, stay tuned for that. Maybe kind of be a part of what's happened with Mario Maker. We're trying to do some cool new things with that. Yeah, you could totally give us course ideas if you have that game and you made some levels. Or like playing. ideas if you're like, hey, you should try this with your Mario Maker series or whatever. We're totally up for that. Thank you so much for subscribing and liking and being a part of the basement. We'll see you guys next time in the basement. This place. Which is the basement.